Hello everyone, this is Satya Prakash. Welcome to my channel. This is part 3 of Web API session. In this session, we'll discuss how to test HTTP get verb using Fiddler. So, this is my part 2 of uh, Web API tutorial. You can get this video in my playlist called ASP.NET Web API tutorial. So, this series of tutorial is very important. So, before going through this part 3, please visit my part 2 that is get request in ASP.NET Web API. Okay, let's start. So, I'll go to my presentation here. So, in this session, we'll discuss that is what, what is HTTP verbs in ASP.NET Web API and the terms related to HTTP request and response system and what is Fiddler and what are the steps to test HTTP verb that is get using Fiddler okay guys so here uh, what is HTTP verbs in ASP.NET Web API so before that I'll tell you something that is uh, you can already have worked in the database tables so there are four different actions we can perform on the row for the particular entity so there is you can listen one uh, word that is CRUD right C R U D so C for create a row R for read a row U for update arrow and d for delete arrow so in the context context of an sp.net web api resource these four actions correspond to get post put and delete so you can show in this chart that create using post http verb so we need to create a new things means we need to use that http verb that is post for read operation we can use the http verb that is get for update the uh, entity we can use the HTTP verb that is put and for delete we use the HTTP verb called delete right and we can uh, we can here um, know about few terms related to HTTP request and response system so th there are few terms and concepts here so here one well, first one is request verbs so this for HTTP verbs that is get, post, put and delete it describes what should be done with the resource for example do you want to create, read, update or delete an entity then get, put, post and delete HTTP verbs that the most commonly used ones right and next one is request header so when a client sends a request to server the request contains a header and body the request header contains additional information such as what type of response is required. For example, do you want the response to be in XML or JSON? And third one is request body. So request body contains the data to send to the server. For example, a post request contains the data for a new item that you want to create. The data format may be in XML or JSON. So I will show you that response type in, in Fiddler. So fourth one is response body. So response body, it contains the data sent as a response from the server. For example, if the request is a specific product, the response body includes the product details either in XML or JSON format. And last one is response status code. So these are the HTTP status codes that give the client details on the status of the request some of the common status codes are 200 ok 404 not found 204 no content for so this is the status code and what is the mean meaning of the status code right so and next one is we'll know about the fiddler so fiddler it is a tool to perform get post put and delete actions so it is used to analyze and test the network traffic including web api calls so how to download this fiddler so i already have opened that link you can see telerik.com slash download slash fiddler as per your operating system you can put some details and you can download from your fiddler classic so i already have download and installed in my system so that is the interface i have got after installing the uh, fiddler right and there is in the left hand side you can see so many results for protocol so you can just remove these sessions you can click and remove all so it will clear all the sessions captured in the left hand side box 
right guys so you can see guys i already have told you http verse right so here you can see so many http verse so importantly we can use get post put and delete and along with it there's so many http verse with head trace search content options unlock like this but in this video i'll discuss only for the http get verb right so in the composer tab you can get this interface to check to execute your request and get the response so you can click here comp compose tab right composer tab okay so uh, i'll go to my visual studio i already have that values controller and here i will add some code for the http get bar request and response so guys here what i'll do uh, I will so I will include a static variable where type is a list of string right so here what I'll do static and list of strings and uh, strings is a variable equal to new list of strings right so i will make here as c static and list should be in capital and there also capital is required and string right so after then what i'll do i will add list of strings here so the list of th this list contains the three strings here so one is i'll put here satya zero and like this i need to add a uh, two more string here so I'll modify now satya1 one, one is for satya2 I don't need this space so I just reverse it and after then I put semicolon here alright so this is my static variable which type is list of string and this list contains three strings that is satya0 satya1 and satya2 right and next one is I here you can see already have the get method which uh, return type is enumerable uni of string right so this get method method will return those string values that is satya 0 satya 1 and satya 2 of static variable that is strings so what i'll return here i'll return only strings right here st strings all right so that means it, it this method will return all the string values all right so we have another overloaded version of get method which have one id parameter right you can see one id parameter so we can use this id as index so for example if we want to pass id equal to zero then it will return the string which presents at zero index that is satya zero right in static variable if you if we pass id one equal to 1 then it will return that string value is satya 1 if we will pass id equal to 2 then it will return the string value that is satya 2 so this overload version will return string strings of id right so public string get of int id and it will return that is strings of id so strings of id and semicolon here right okay so that is the code for test our http get verb using fiddler so after uh, modification in my values controller i will go to my solution here and build this
you can see build is succeeded and I will run my application here so guys the fiddler is, is a tool to perform post put and delete actions and I already have shared this link you can download this fiddler and after downloading uh, you you'll need to install and go to that composer tab of that fiddler right and you can see it will in the left hand side the some sessions has been loaded with protocol and host URL you can just clean it after by clicking remove all right and after then I'll go to my browser here so guys you can see my home page of web API runs properly and I will map to API values controller and press enter now I can see my get request values that is Satya 0, Satya 1 and Satya 2 so what I'll do I just copy that URL and go to my fiddler and whatever the existing uh, old session values I need to remove here and I'll go to the composer tab and in the search in the this box I'll paste my URL and you can see there is so many HTTP verb and, and I will select here as get right and I will execute that button here and you can see one URL one uh, session is generated JSON 3 200 HTTP localhost 49773 API values I click here and I can see under JSON tab the Satya 0, Satya 1 and Satya 2 if you want to see the out response in XML go to composer tab right here what I'll do content hyphen type and application slash XML and I just remove that sessions here what I'll do I'll execute here again you can see one session is generated with XML uh, icon and 200 status if I click here you can see we can we have seen that response in XML so that XML tab is uh, shown as an active tab and you can see the response is, is in XML format Satya 0 1 and 2 the same way if you want to see as a JSON just uh, replace with JSON applic application underscore JSON uh, sorry application uh, slash JSON and remove all and execute this you can see one icon is generated with JSON response if you click here we have got the JSON uh, response here Satya 0 1 and 2 and if you check here headers you can see the response uh, header right we have already discussed what is response header and response response status code you can get here 200 ok that means it is a successful status code right and here here guys uh, this is the uh, you know in my next video I will discuss about the post put and delete methods in values controller and there we will check what what is the response code we are getting right with sp.net web api we can control what the status code this methods will return okay now i will go to my composer tab here i will check my id values right here we have another overloaded version of get method i need to test this method also so what i will do in the browser i will check i will put here one right and enter you can see I have got the response Satya 1 if you'll check here Satya 2 I have got the response Satya 2 if you'll check here 0 and I'll get the Satya 0 response the same way we have we can check in our fiddler as well so I'll remove that all and go to here fiddler and check here 0 what is the string value in our 0 index that is Satya 0 I'll execute this one and I'll check the response here you can see Satya 0 same way if you'll go to this just uh, composer put 1 and execute check here JSON is response is Satya 1 I'll go to composer tab and re remove that one with uh, 2 and execute this I'll check here I got the JSON response is Satya 2 and header section is HTTP 200 ok ok it is status code and the content type whatever we have selected that is 
content type application underscore json and i already have told you how to see xml so that we can see here xml uh you know xml response so here i'll show you here i'll remove that urls and execute this go to here you can see that xml response that is satya2 go to header and you can see in the entity section content type is application underscore xml right guys so in this way we can check the http get verb um, using get and another overloaded version of get method with id parameter right so this is all about how to test our get http verb get using fiddler so this is my youtube channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on dot net dot and co c sharp sql server angular azure and devops so what we have learned today in this video that is what is http verbs in sv.net web api and what are the terms related to http request and response system and what is fiddler and what are the steps to get test http verb that is get using fiddler in my next video i will show you uh, how to test the post put and delete methods in our values controller and we can test it using the fiddler so that's all for today guys thank you for listening have a great day